Yo, what is up everybody? Jumping here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get the Pocket Infinity. It is an exotic weapon from an exotic bounty called the Shattered Memory Fragment. Now the first part of this, is, this is a four part bounty. But the first part is very easy. You can do it in like about one minute. All you got to do is come to Venus and then go to the right off the spawn. And if you follow this trail, you need to find this dead ghost. I'm going to show you exactly where it is because when I was looking for this thing, oh my god, I could not find it. I had to look it up. And once I looked it up, I was like, okay, I know where that is. But if you notice, there's a giant statue over here. And you can get here in like 30 seconds. But once you get here, it's just going to be in this room right here. And remember, if you don't know where this is, you can just go off the giant statue. But it's really, really simple to find once you know where you're looking. And once you get the ghost, it's going to start the second part of the challenge. And the second part is also really, really easy. The third part can be horrible. It can be absolutely tedious. But I'm going to try to prepare you now. If you do not have this bounty, you need to prepare yourself right now for this bounty. Because this weapon is amazing. Alright, for the second part, what we have to do is go and kill a Vex Gate Lord on Heroic Difficulty. And that just means we got to go beat the mission. So... I'm actually going to show the entire mission. I probably could have just cut this out. But I wanted to show how fast you can beat this mission. Because you can literally run past everything in this mission. And beat it in about 5 minutes. Maybe at the most. Probably 3 to 4 minutes if you're fast enough. But basically all you got to do is just um, jump up here. There's going to be two snipers. It's up to you if you want to kill them or not. You don't really have to. But it might be a good idea to... Shoot them at least so that they will not shoot you because the snipers can always kill you generally. You can jump up here, just go around depending on your class. Titans and warlocks can get up there really easily. Hunters can have a little bit of a little bit of trouble. You want to come up these stairs. Now there's going to be two snipers up here. And I recommend killing one of the snipers. You could kill both of the snipers if you want. But I'm going to kill this one and then I'm going to, I'm going to simply shoot at that one. And then that way he's not going to shoot me. And we're going to run past all these enemies. I'm actually going to jump on top of the, the gate itself to actually avoid fire. Now the final little part up here, there's a big enemy that can wreck you. So what you want to do is run to where this tree is. And then there's like a pillar. If you jump on the pillar, you can basically jump right over this big guy's head and just run for it. Now at this point, you do want to kill the enemies because we're coming up to the end of the mission where you actually have to fight the gate lord. And... All you got to do for the bounty is just simply kill him, and I think you got to get his head or something, so maybe walk over his dead body. I don't really know. Probably just kill him. Really just complete the mission. All right, so it's going to be some snipers over here. Um, just go ahead and take them out, because if you don't take these guys out, they might come up behind you and snipe you in the back as you're fighting the enemies. So keep that in mind. I'm just going to use my shotgun to blast them. Now, if you guys are wondering... I will be showing the weapon at the very end of the video. You can actually skip there now if you want to just check out the effect. But this weapon has a very special effect. And I have to say, it's probably the best fusion rifle in the entire game. I would say it is. But it, the effect is just broken. You have to see it to believe it. Alright, so... All we gotta do is just kill these enemies right here. Once they're all dead, the boss will actually spawn. And once he spawns, we can take him out real quick. I'll show you a little strategy you can use on this, depending on the level. I mean, at the lower levels, it doesn't really matter. You can just fight him wherever. But at the higher levels, or if you're doing, like, let's say, the Queen's Bounty Challenge, which was awesome, but Bungie was like, uh-uh, uh-uh, we gotta nerf that shit. Because I guess they didn't intend that people were gonna break down the armor and just get a whole bunch of shards. But trust me, all my friends, that's the first thing they said. They, they said, the armor sucks, break it down, get the shards. And I was like, okay, that sounds good. Alright, so once he spawns, all you gotta do is just stand on these back steps. And he really can't hit you from here, so you can just blast him with your heavy, shoot him in the stomach. But enemies will spawn, so you can kill the enemies too if you want. Because it's really hard to see them when the enemies actually come out because of that cloud crap that the Vex do. But yeah, I just normally just shoot some rockets at them, kill the enemies. Because they will come down here and try to kill you, so you might want to try to take them out a little bit. But for the most part, like I said, this part of the challenge is really simple. 
More than likely, I could have probably cut out the whole damn thing and just showed me killing the boss, but I wanted to show you guys how quickly you can actually run through this mission because I've talked to a lot of people and they don't know that you can actually run past all those enemies just because they think you have to kill the gates. Alright, so he's dead now and the challenge will move on to step three. Now, step three is a total bitch. Really tedious, can take days for you to do. So I really want you guys to prepare yourselves now. The first thing we need to do is talk to the gunsmith. Once you talk to him, he's going to want you to break down 10 rare fusion rifles. Now, you can do rare or higher, but fuck that shit. Rare or higher, nobody's going to break down legendary fusion rifles for this. So you want to just break down the rares. Now, if you don't have any fusion rifles right now that are rare, or you haven't been saving them, well, if you get this bounty, you might have to grind, grind, grind. I got really lucky. But if you look right now, I have 10 of them in my vault. So if you do not have this challenge right now, what I recommend is save your fusion rifles. If you get a rare fusion rifle, just put it away and try to build up a whole bunch of them so that when you do get this bounty, you'll have no problem breaking them down. Now, I got really lucky, like I said. Once I got this challenge, about an hour later... The gunsmith was actually selling rare fusion rifles. So if you ever see him selling rare fusion rifles, just buy 10. Put them in your vault and just save them for the bounty. Because if you do not do that and you're not prepared, let's say you have two fusion rifles when you get the bounty. Well, the problem is you're probably going to have to sit there for days grinding and grinding and grinding trying to get rare fusion rifles and it's not guaranteed. So... It's a real bitch, guys. I mean, it really is a bitch. This part of the challenge is probably the longest part. N the next part is kind of tedious, too, but it's not that bad. It's really not that bad. But once we break down this final one right here, we just completed it, so now we can go talk to the gunsmith again. He's going to give us our final objective that we need to do, and then we can get the weapon. So let's go ahead and turn this in right now. Alright, now the final part can actually be really easy. I did want to show this though because, like I said, I got really lucky he was selling it. I spent all my money buying a shit ton of fusion rifles. But if you ever see him selling those, I'm telling you, buy them now. Prepare yourself for this challenge. The final part though, we have to kill 200 enemies in the weekly Nightfall Strike. Oh boy. Alright, this is the hardest strike there is. The main thing you need to do is pay attention to the element because every week there's an element. You got solar burn, arc burn, and void burn. Depending on which one it is, use that element for your gun. And this week was solar burn, so I'm using a fire fusion rifle and it's killing them in like one hit for the most part. Now the problem with this is that this is set to level 28, so if you're only like a level 24, I don't know if you're going to be able to do this. You might need to get to level 26 or try to get level 28 if you can. And that's a real shame that they did it like this because I don't think everybody can actually get this weapon because of this final part of the challenge. You're going to have to level up. But, you know, maybe you could. The main thing here is that you don't have to beat it. All you got to do is just start it up and just kill enemies. I mean, it took me four attempts. Each time I got about 50 kills. And yeah, that was it, basically. That's all you gotta do. And what I was doing here was just being smart, trying to use cover, poking out, shooting the enemies, killing them. And like I said, I would just complete this first room and start over. If you die, it takes you to orbit, so you have to start over. So that's basically all you gotta do to actually complete this. Now, after this, you get the weapon. And the weapon's gonna take a long time to level up. When you first get the weapon... And this is true with a lot of exotics. I've talked to people and they'll say, Oh, I hate that weapon. It's totally shit. But it's like, wait a minute, dude. Did you level it up? You want to level these things up, guys, before you say they're total shit. Because sometimes the weapons can be just unbelievable. All right, right here I cut it ahead. We only need a couple more kills and I can get the challenge done. I think this is it. Yeah, buddy. There we go. So the challenge is done and now we can actually go and turn it in and get the weapon. But like I was saying, don't judge a weapon right away. Upgrade it a little bit. See if you like it. Alright, all we gotta do is talk to him and he will give us the Pocket Infinity. It has solar damage on it. And that's actually really good for certain challenges and it's really strong against certain enemy types. 
Now, let me go ahead and show you all the different things it gets real quick. You get surplus, which will make it so that you can find more ammo for it, which is pretty awesome for campaign. Obviously, not so great in multiplayer, but it's whatever. You, of course, can upgrade the damage multiple times. You can get hand-loaded. That's range. The best one is this one, enhanced battery. You get eight bullets in your clip or rounds in your clip, whatever you want to call it. But you want to get pocket affinity. That effect is freaking awesome. So freaking godly. Alrighty, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and now show you what the weapon can do. I'm going to use it on a boss. It is unfreaking real. Full auto mode. So much damage. You can unload multiple, multiple rounds into an enemy and just destroy them. Alright, well I really do hope you have enjoyed this. If you have, will you please like the video for me? Be sure to subscribe if you haven't. And I really do hope that everyone has a very nice day and poo so